What's cracking with your snack and snacker stars? It is me, me, the BRE, the man in the backwards hat, Brandon from the SAS, the Snack Food Appreciation Society, coming at you once again on a wet, wild, and windy Friday night for this edition of Out and About Pizza Night. Ladies and gentlemen, I am at Springfield Mall. That brings back all the memories and feels. And tonight, I'm going to try a pizza that I haven't had before, but was recommended to me by my love. I'll be right back right after this to try something and pizza right after this. Never fear, Pizza Night is here. Grab yourself a can of beer for Friday night, March 30th, 2018. Tonight I'm on the road for Pizza Night because it's a little too far away to really take home. I am at Springfield Town Center, which used to be known as Springfield Mall, but they decided to spit shine it a little bit and put some more upper crust type clientele in here. And it has become a town center because as you know, malls are no longer cool. Well, within this kind of hoity-toity new mall or town center, they have a pizza place that started to spring up in the area. And I actually think there are some throughout the country, not just in this area, and that is And Pizza. Let's go ahead and open up what we have here, which is a flat, long box, rectangular if you will. We got the damsel in distress just asking, just buy me pizza. She looks very, very, very strung out. Anyway, let me go ahead and open this bad boy up. They have prefix pizzas as well as you can create your own. $9.91 for one of these little flatbreads. And, I mean, it's about the size of two hands, I guess you would say. A good lunch probably, but maybe not a good dinner for a family, perhaps if you got a couple of these. This one's called the American Honey. And you might be saying, Brandon, what's all that green gunk all over your pizza? But ladies and gentlemen, that green gunk is arugula. Yeah, I know, arugula doesn't belong on pizza in my eyes either, but whatever, it works. This American honey pizza started with uh, fresh mozzarella, pepperoni, and then uh, I went through the toasting or cooking process. And then after that, the arugula and goat cheese was added, as well as a hot honey drizzle and some red pepper flakes. All of this is on top of their regular flatbread dough. They also have a gluten-free version and it's on a spicy tomato sauce. All right, guys, I'll be right back after this to let you know what this pizza from And Pizza tastes like and everything else on pizza night. All right, gang, the wind is really whipping up. It's starting to rain here at Springfield Mall. Let me go ahead and pick up this uh, $9.91 flatbread pizza from And Pizza. And they've kind of sliced it into several small slices. I'm going to try to pick out a slice for you here. There's no real 420 slice, of course. I've got a whole end here. There we go. Show this to you next to my noggin the way I always do. Nice little manageable size piece of pizza with a nice looking pizzeria bubble on there, guys. And look at how it cracked and how you can see inside there. That's really cool. All right, guys. It does have a little piece of arugula on here, so I'll know what that tastes like, too. I'm going to go ahead and take a bite of this bad boy let you know what I think. All right, gang, I am back and color me surprised. I am very surprised at how much I like this pizza. I had been reticent in the past to try Ann Pizza uh, one time when I encountered it up in Germantown, Maryland, because something about flatbread pizza sometimes kind of turns me off, but this tastes like a real pizza, guys. The dough is nice. Um, mm, it has a great pizzeria texture and flavor especially in that pizzeria bubble so as we continue to build it from the bottom to the top we come to that spicy tomato sauce which is really really good it does have a nice zinc to it but it is also kind of sweet and fruity tasting and I like that too um, fresh mozzarella is fresh mozzarella the only thing I could say about that is it could have more fresh mozzarella on there and I'd be happy and I could probably actually make that happen if I was you know a little bit more hip to the situation when I encountered it. However, uh, the pepperonis are really good too. They're thickly cut and they have a good texture, nice and meaty, with a little bit of a snap to them. Snap into it, yeah. Anyway, very, very tasty there. Probably like a uh, beef and chicken mixture or something like that. I'm not sure there's any pork in there, but really tasty either way. 
Um, guys, I've never had goat cheese before now, and I must say I do like it. It's a nice, creamy, sort of tangy thing, and I dig it a lot. It's kind of like melted cream cheese to me a little bit. Mm, I like that. I'm going to get that again on pizza. And ladies and gentlemen, the sweet honey sauce gave it another hot, spicy sweet zing at the end the arugula didn't bother me one bit guys i didn't even taste it to tell you the truth uh, it just tasted like some leaves or something without any kind of tremendous flavoring or anything like that but ladies and gentlemen putting that all together i'm giving this a full 100 percent thumbs up because i know i can ask them to put more cheese in here and it would be you know perfect that way and it's really good the way it is guys out freaking standing thank you to my lovely uh woman Renee for uh, introducing me to it and thanks to everybody at Ann Pizza for helping me out today here on Pizza Night. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, thanks for watching. Also, they have soda in there I forgot to mention and I got a soda called Cereal Milk Cream Soda. As you can see, it's the color of cream soda. They were out of ice, but it is cold. So let me go ahead and take a nice little sip of this. I mean, I guess it has a little bit of a fruity thing going on, but I'm not that, uh, you know, uh, differentiated with this, or I don't see much of a difference between this and regular cream soda. It's a tasty cream soda. It can use a little bit more soda zing to it, I think. Um, outside of that, it's pretty tasty, and I'll go ahead and give it a three-quarters thumbs up. Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. The sun is all of a sudden coming out here on this weird Friday evening. Hope you had a good time with me. I always have a good time with you. Check us out on Facebook and have a good time there. The link is in the description down there while you're leaving a comment on the Facebook, I mean, on the uh, YouTube uh, video itself. Also, check me out at Brandon Reich SAS on Twitter and Instagram. That way you know what I'm doing. I know what you're doing all that good stuff. And then, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And in the meantime, in between time, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.